Okay, so we have an at wood machine problem, and it says for the at wood machine shown in this figure, suppose that M2, uh, which is the heavier one, has an initial upward speed of 0.23. Um, so how how high does M2 rise above its initial initial position, which is which is at zero, uh, before momentarily coming to rest? Given that M1 is 33.4 kilograms and M2 is 4.1 kilograms. Well, to start this off, let's just let's just say that uh, we 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 all agree that k k the kinetic energy one plus potential energy one is equal to kinetic energy two plus potential energy two, right? Okay, and I'm going to define before we get started. I'm going to define m as m1 plus m2 okay and if we and looking at the whole system as a uh, looking at the system as a whole what is the total mass well it's m1 plus m2 so that's going to be m and our con and looking at the whole system what is the the speed of which the 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 system is moving well the system is moving this way um, at 0.23 meters per second to, to begin with, right? And this, this number is going to be different for you, but that, that's, how, that's how fast it's moving towards the beginning. And we're going to say this is positive because I, we'd like positive. Um, so kinetic energy is going to be mv squared over 2 plus potential energy is 0 because they're both at 0. Okay, how about when we end? Well, it's going to be zero, right? Because we because it 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 says it momentarily comes to rest. So kinetic energy two is going to be zero, and then potential energy two. Well, m two rises upward over the horizon, right? So, so m for for m two we're going to add m two g h. That's that's a potential energy for M2, but M1 goes down because it's um, and it goes down, and and it's, it's negative. And we can say that even though this is positive, because gravity acts this way for all of them. So gravity is like this. So so for this one, this is gravity, and then there's gravity here. So so M2GH. And minus because M two is going up, so minus, and we're we're trying to figure out over here. So minus, and because this is because this is going below the x axis, it's going to be minus. So minus m one times g h. Okay, so if we simplify this, we're going to get m v squared over two is equal to m two g h minus m one g h. And we can't cancel it out because uh, because because this one is uh, this one's this one. If we rewrite this, this is going to be m1 plus m2. So I'm going to do that real quick. So this is because m is m1 plus m2. So I'm going to rewrite that real quick. So m1 plus m2. I don't know if you can read that, but that's what that's the that's what this is. M1 plus m2. Okay, now what do we do? Well, we just and it's asking for height, so we just solve for height. So it's going to be m1 plus m2 v squared over r, or 2 is equal to, we can factor out g and h, so g, h, m2 minus m1. Because g, h times m2 is this, and then g, h times m1, negative m1 is this. Okay. Move this down a little bit, okay, and then, and then we can divide each side by g and m m m two minus m one to get h. So h is equal to is equal to that. Let me just move two over. That. So we're we're just dividing each side by g and m m two minus m one. So knowing that, let's plug in our values. Let's plug in our values. 
So H is equal to M1 plus M2 is 3.4 plus 4.1. 3.4 plus 4.1, yeah. So that's 7.5 V squared. V is 0.23, so 0.23 squared all over 2 times gravity, and gravity is 9.8, um, times m2 minus m1. So m2 is 4.1, m1 is 3.4. So 4.1 minus 3.4 is 0 0.7. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to double check to check my mental work. I'm going to check with my calculator to double check my mental work, and I'm right. So it's 0 0.7. So h turns out to be, let's use our calculator to figure this out. So the numerator divided by the denominator. So 7.5 times 0.23 squared all over 2 times 9.8 times 0.7. Well, if, if you can hear maybe like shudder in my voice, that's because I'm cold. So it's, I don't know why it's getting cold, but maybe I should like turn on my heater or something. So 7, yeah, so if you do that, um, uh, 9.8 and then okay so if you do that you get 0 .02, 0 0.02 well whatever this one is and since you have to and this is in meters so since since you so let me, let me actually write this down so 0 0.029 meters and since the thing the web sign is asking for centimeters for some of you maybe I don't know maybe 90% of you I don't know um, it's, so we just multiply that by 100. So h, it, so that, that's equal to that's actually equal to um, 2.9 centimeters. And that is going to be our answer. So let me make a square. Our square. So and that that's that's basically how you do it. So it's 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 pretty simple problem. It's a pretty straightforward problem actually.